There are six core competencies which we train awakening coaches to bring to their clients. I'm going to talk to you now about the second of these competencies which we call absolute presence. Now you have probably noticed already in your life that in your relationship with your significant other, with your children, with your co-workers, with your clients, with your employer if you have one, there are various degrees of presence which you can bring to any meeting with another person. Now at one end of the spectrum is to be very distracted and I'm sure you know what that's like. Uh, sometimes it happens when I'm with my children and they maybe I'm busy, I'm you know texting or looking at the computer or something and one of my children comes and says, Dad, and I go, um, yeah? He says, Dad, could I just ask you a question? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead, what is it you need? Uh, Dad, could we, uh, could we go to the, uh, to the street fair today? Um, yeah, sure. And of course, it's very frustrating for either of my teenage sons when I'm with them, or perhaps I should say not fully with them in that way, because they can feel I'm not present. I'm sure you know what it's like with your, if you're in a relationship, when your partner says to you, you know, bye, I love you, but you can feel at least in that moment there's not a lot of love in the way that's said. It's a kind of a perfunctory I love you rather than a deeply felt I love you. Now exactly the same thing applies in your professional life. If you're with your clients, your co-workers, your team, half there and half thinking about something else, they will feel it. And your capacity to be effective, particularly in leadership, will go significantly down. We can easily train ourselves to be present in an external way. That's something you can learn, to look in somebody's eyes when you speak to them to keep your body still, to not be looking at something else, but to give your full attention to the person you're speaking to. But we would call that relative presence. What we mean by absolute presence is that you are trained not only to maintain eye contact, to be present with your body, but also to shift the attention from distracting thoughts about other things so that your attention is fully with your client. Now, this may seem like a kind of haphazard affair, something that happens if you're lucky and doesn't happen most of the time. But it doesn't have to be like that. It is possible through some very simple technologies which you can be trained in, which you can learn. It's possible through some very simple technologies to learn how to become absolutely present, which means present externally and internally. We're not suggesting necessarily you're going to master that all the time. But to be a good coach, to be able to coach someone in an effective way, whether it's face to face or on the telephone, you need to know how to bring absolute presence to your client.